this is Ty Pan for Shanzai.com and today we're going to review a couple of different little items for you so you can see what some of your uh, accessory and stand options for holding your tablet PC are. Now actually the tablet PC, uh, you might not think that you need a stand for one but actually after I demonstrate how these things work you might reconsider. Uh, looking down here we've got uh, two tablets for you to check out. One is a 7 inch form factor, the C9 which we just reviewed the other day and we've also got a, the Hero Tab M10, which is a, the same size as the iPad. So that's a good demonstration model for checking out some of the stands. And we've also got a couple of phones even here as well. We've got uh, HT Desire HD and a regular sized uh, HT Desire. So what we'll do is let's start off with the um, more serious uh, product here. I've already mangled the box in the unboxing. So this is a mobile stand for tablet PC. Uh, it comes actually in this lovely red velvet uh, sort of covered uh, background case. You lay it on top of the other piece. Whoops, like so. Pull that open and you pull out this lovely little uh, black velvet case, which would actually fit probably pretty easily into your pocket so you could carry it around with you, which is good because I think that's one of the problems with the separate stands. You're going to want it sometimes and not other times. And in the end, when you pull it out, it actually looks like kind of like a, the Swiss Army knife of stands. And in fact, when we show you some of the functionality in a second, I think you'll be surprised that it really is just that. Um, it's a very simple product that just slides open like so, kicks out some legs like so. And then what it does, it provides you a stand with a couple of little feet that pop out as well. Now, the little feet are covered with rubber. The stand itself has got some rubber along the side here and a little rubber uh, piece here up on the hinge as well. And what that does is makes for a soft place to put your uh, tablet, but at the same time also provides some grip so your tablet doesn't move around at all. So for those of you who wanted to watch, say, a video in portrait mode or something on your, uh, on your tablet, you're also able to move the tablet around and in the case of the dimensions of the iPad, the uh, the stand works perfectly in that sense already. But for those of you who are already bought smaller devices, even a 7 inch, seven inch device in portrait mode can be accommodated by simply adjusting the feet a little bit closer, putting your tablet on like so, and voila, again, another very sturdy stand for your uh, for watching movies or whatnot. Now, you think that's all it is, but no, wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, Actually, the stand also has another conversion mode by popping in this, the back of the stand and popping out a little piece here on the back, you'll see that the stand is able to provide a very low level type of uh, inclination, or incline I guess you should say. And how that becomes useful is by pointing the stand at yourself and moving your tablet onto the stand, you get a slight angle, which is perfect for people who want to use the keyboard on their iPad or on their tablets but with a, with a little bit more angle on it. I think that's, for most of us, actually I prefer a little bit of angle myself. When the tablet's just flat on the ground, you find it starts to hurt your neck or your back a little bit. And I think this would help you be able to uh, crank out some uh, emails and whatnot and type a little bit longer. And again, it's adjustable. So you can take your tablet, slide in your seven inch tablet there, and you're off to the races. Now, Theoretically, I suppose you could use these with your phones. The HTC Desire is a little bit smaller than the iPhone. Uh, I don't know, the, the stand seems a little bit bigger for a phone. And even the HTC Desire HD, which is a fairly big phone as far as smartphone goes, is probably a little bit too small for that particular stand. But we do also have a, a device that is useful for those sizes of device for you as well. When you're finished with your stand, simply fold it up, throw it back in the handy dandy case, and you're off to the races. Now I'm just getting some updating on the pricing for this, which I'll put down in the uh, in the articles so that you can read and find out how much this thing costs and goes for. And, for, and I'll let you know what the price is on that as well. But really, very very handy. Uh, the second thing we've got here for you today, they're calling it the sucker stand. Affectionately, inside of uh, Shenzai.com headquarters, we're calling it the poo plunger. And. <laughs> This uh, poo plunger, which we do know the price of, which is approximately, uh, I think it's about $3.50, I would say, is going for, is basically a very simple piece of rubber that's formed to look like one of the plungers you'd use in the bathroom to, uh, shall we say, cleanse the bowl, or sorry, to uh, flush the bowl, flush the pipes. 
And it's also got a little handy dandy keychain piece here on the back which can be connected to your phone. So for the types of phones that have the little bit of connectivity so that you can attach devices and dongles and baubles and whatnot, you'll be able to attach your poo plunger. Now the poo plunger works in the simple sense that you plunge it to the back of your device and then the wooden angle or the, of the handle part of the plunger sits in the back and just acts as a stand for your phone. Seems a little bit ridiculous at first but depending what kind of applications you have loaded on your phone. In fact, for, I'll give you an example for my phone. I like to keep the, uh, the alarm clock and the nightlight thing going at night. So it can dim it a little bit so it's dark. And that's using the Alarm uh, Plus Pro or something like that application. So when that lies flat, I can't see what the time is on my on my bed stand. But using the poo plunger behind, giving a little bit of angle, I'm able to use it as a stand. And that also helps me when I'm at the office when I have my phone there. Because actually I keep my phone on during the office as my third tiny screen to uh, supplement the two monitors that I'm using. So actually the poo plunger has its value <laughs> as well. But again, this one is, it goes for about $3.50 that we see in some novelty stores. Anyway, both of those are, are interesting items and stands. This one I think is really worth a, a look if you're kind of thinking about doing more and more typing with your device. And uh, we'll get back to you with some pricing on that to see whether it's worth it to you.